Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to shoot a video about my monthly favorites for September. Um, this is my first time shooting and so I made sure I picked out quite a few things to share with you guys today. I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into it. My first favorite is the Body Scrub Oahu Coconut Sunset by Bath & Body Works. This stuff smells really good. It smells like plumeria and coconut mixed together and if you don't know what plumeria smells like it smells like a honeysuckle um, the texture is very sandy and gritty it's really good to scrub off the dead skins on your body um, this one is full but uh, the one I've been using is in my bathroom and it's it's almost empty it smells really good. I don't know if you can really see what that looks like, but it has a lot of texture to it. It's really good for exfoliating and get that dead skin off your whole entire body. You can use it with a loofah. You can use it without, but I like to use it with a loofah. This retails for $14.50. You can usually get it at Bath & Body Works on sale. They usually have a buy three, get three free or a buy three, get two free. I'm not quite sure. But they also have good coupons that they usually give out when you buy stuff there. Um, I got mine from my dad. I had him send it to me because I don't have a Bath & Body Works here in Japan where I am. So he has to send me a lot of okay, stuff. Okay, the next product I have is the Lush Mask of Magna Minty. This is the 315 gram size container and it retails for $25.95. Um, I got mine here in Japan, so all the labels on it are in Japanese and talking to the lady about it was kind of difficult because she couldn't speak English to me, but I heard a lot of good reviews about this and so that's why I decided to pick it up. It smells so good. It smells like a light peppermint and it has like a nutty smell to it. That sounds kind of weird saying it has a nutty smell, but it has some kind of nuts that are smashed up in there. And it smells really good. It's not like overpowering the peppermint scent, but it smells really good. And this size, the 315 gram container, is about $25.95 in the States. I had bought mine here in Japan. I think it was cheaper, but I'm not sure. Um, I like to use it maybe once a week because it's cold now here in Japan. So using it twice a week might dry out my skin too much. Um, it's very the texture is very thick. It's very um, It's kind of hard to spread honestly you really have to use your fingers to spread it because uh, Using a spatula or something. It's just not gonna work for you. Uh, I would also suggest getting the Smaller container if you're not going to use it Twice a week or maybe it's your first time So I would suggest getting the smaller container because it does have an expiration date which I did not know that until today because I had actually watched another video on this stuff but I want to move on to the next okay, the next item I want to talk about is the OGX renewing argon oil of Morocco this stuff works really good in my hair I like to use it every day after I get out of the shower I just put a pea size into my palm and I work it through my roots and, and slowly work up because I don't want it to get my scalp too oily since I did just get out of the shower and wash my hair um, this stuff retails for I think $6.99 but I'm not quite sure because here where I am it's sold at the BX or the exchange so I got it for a little bit cheaper I got mine for $4.99 because it was on sale but this stuff is really great. I literally use it every day. And I um, I had discovered it when I got back from Guam. Back in April when we went, before we had left, I had such dry hair and my ends were so gross. It was, I hated it. I was so tempted to cut my hair off in Guam. And I'm glad I didn't because when I got back and I found this, it has just helped my hair so much and it brought my hair back to life and it made it so much more manageable and soft. Um, the next item that I really want to share with you guys is a dupe for the, um, House of Lashes lash containers or lash uh, holders. This is one. Um, I got these at Daiso. You can find it here in Japan at any 100 yen shop, but in the States, it would be at a store called Daiso. Um, this is what the inside looks like. This one is a little bit different. It has the three compartments to hold the eyelash glue. 
<clears throat> eyelash glue and this is the other one that's just like the house of lashes one on the inside uh, this is exactly like the house of lashes one on the outside this is like the house of lashes one on the inside it holds three pairs of lashes it's kind of bulky but house of lashes sells these for six dollars and I got these for 108 yen, which is equivalent to 90 cents here. So if you're able to make it to a Daiso, even if you find it for like a dollar or something, it's totally worth it. And I would suggest picking a couple up because, I don't know, I kind of think House of Lashes copied these things. But, I don't know, let's just think. Okay, the next product I want to talk about is the Morphe M501 brush. I really love this brush. I use it to highlight my face, um, my nose, and the top of my lip. Um, it's I think it was actually meant for the eyes, but it's too big for the eyes, and I have big eyes, so if this is too big for me, it's too big for you. But this is like my favorite brush to just, you know. Um, I don't know how much that one is. I forgot to get the prices for the Morphe brushes, but I will um, just comment down below if you wanna if you want to know and I'll get it for you I'll comment back for you um, the next brush is my morphe m441 brush this brush is really good for getting right in the crease to blend out your eyeshadow I love this brush so much I've been grabbing this brush literally every time I need to put on my eyeshadow first or my 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 transition color I always grab this brush and I have like five blending brushes but this is always my go-to brush now the last brush I wanted to talk about is the M Morphe M439 brush. It looks like this. Um, this is really super dense. This brush is super dense, which is good for buffing out your foundation and making sure you don't leave anything behind without having to go over and over and over. But I do like to go in with a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender afterwards and just kind of press in my foundation to give it an airbrushed look. Um, I'm sorry I don't have the prices for these brushes again, but um, if you want the prices, just comment down below and I'll get it for you. Okay, the next product I want to talk about are the ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I know if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I wear these all the time in all my pictures. Um, they, these retail for $6, but usually you can find a... That's my son. He's watching um, Pacific Rim right now, so don't mind him. Um, these retail for six dollars. You can usually find a coupon on their website, like for five dollars off if you first sign up for their emails. Um, even right now, I think they have a five dollar off coupon because they hit a million followers on Instagram, I believe. So these are really good. They're super pigmented. They're really good for their price and quality. Um, if if you've never worn a liquid lipstick like that before, I would suggest maybe putting a little bit of chapstick over first on your lips before you apply it and then just kind of dabbing it into your lips and then applying the liquid lipstick maybe with a lip brush because it, it's so liquidy it might be a little bit hard to control if it's your first time using it but if not then you know but I really like those I think I would say my favorite color is is oh my gosh where is it Okay, literally every one that I'm grabbing right now is not the one I'm looking for. Okay, so my favorite one I would say is Tool. It is like a brownish purple. I want to say it looks like that. Let me just swatch it for you. Okay, don't mind all the other swatches on my <laughs> on the back of my hand. I was trying to do my eyeliner earlier, but this is what it looks like. Um, I noticed that a lot of their liquid lipsticks, they can look different on different skin tones. So you can't always go by how it looks on me or somebody else. The best thing to do is try it out for yourself. The next item I wanted to talk about is just a, like a sample size, but I fell in love with this as soon as I started using it. I got it from Sephora. I used my points to get it, but it is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer. Usually it retails for $30. It's super smooth, super creamy. It also smells like chocolate, which I love chocolate a lot. Uh, this one is for uh, medium to deep. 
skin tones. It is a matte bronzer. Oh, I don't know if I showed you or not, but it's a matte bronzer and it's what I have on my face right now. I just put it everywhere, you know, where you're supposed to contour and bronze your face up. You're not supposed to apply it on your entire face. If you don't know how to contour and bronze your face, then you should watch a YouTube video on how to do it. But it usually retails for $30. Um, I think I could have gone a darker shade because this is actually kind of too light for me. So if anything, I think I would have gotten the darker, the darkest shade that they offer. Okay, the last product I wanna go over with you is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. I got mine in the color Champagne Pop. This retails for $38. The stuff is amazing. It will make your cheekbones look so shimmery and it really accentuates all the areas you use it to highlight with. It's also great to use in your inner tear duct. It can really finish the look of your eyes if you want to use it in your inner tear duct. Today I used it on my cheekbones, on my nose, and my upper lip to highlight. And I don't know, I've had this stuff, I'm not gonna lie, maybe I've had this for a little less than a month, but every time I do my makeup I use it. So congratulations again on Jaclyn Hill making this product. She did a really good job choosing the color and I don't know. I just, I love it. I can't get over how beautiful this stuff is. Let me see. I'll swatch it for you. This is it on my finger. And then this is, this is how it looks on my hand. It's so, the color, I don't know if you can even see how good that looks on camera, but it looks really good. I love this stuff so much. And I, I used to use the e.l.f. one before, because I didn't know anything about makeup before, but I used the e.l.f. one, and that one also, honestly, it worked pretty good, surprisingly, <laughs> for $3, I think, but it worked really good. So if you can't afford this $38 one, I would suggest getting the e.l.f. one too. Okay guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too long for you. If it was, I'm really sorry. And I'm sorry if you heard some background noise of my son or the air conditioner. Um, please comment down below if you have any comments or concerns um, or any questions even, or even maybe some suggestions on future videos. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Bye.